Lawrence, Kansas. Mommy? Why aren't you in bed? There's something in the closet. Oh God. Jesus, how big is her closet? See? There's nothing there. Kids can usually pick up on supernatural things easier than adults. Oh, please don't be more bugs. Please, God, don't let it be rats. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Scream, girl, scream. So they're going to be haunted by the people that lived there before them. Wait, was that their dad? Oh, God. What? Yeah, it is. So they're at, they've moved into their old home, the Winchesters. Fire. Girl, you need to scream so your mum knows that you're not okay. What are you, that's it, there we go. Bit of a delayed reaction there, but better late than never. Was that their mum? Or the mother of the young girl? What is he doing there? Wait, I've seen this. Seen what? Dean, I know we have to go next. Where? Oh, please. That was a bit of a stretch. A tree. Okay, random. Where'd that come from? You're gonna sound crazy. But the people who live in our old house, I think they might be in danger. Why would you think that? You gotta trust Has me. Has he got this, like okay? a gift now? He's like. Okay, well, well, we'll trust you. Premonitions yeah. or. Come on, man, it's something. weak. You gotta give me a little bit more than that. I have these nightmares, and sometimes they come true. So he does have premonitions. I dreamt about Jessica's death. No, I dreamt about the blood dripping, her on the ceiling, the fire, everything, and I didn't do anything about it because I didn't believe it. And now I'm dreaming about that tree, about our house, and about some woman inside screaming for help. I mean. That's where it all started, man. This has to mean something, right? I mean, this might even be the thing that killed mom and Jessica. All right, just slow down, would you? He's very sensitive when it comes to his mom, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. You know, I, I think I found some of your photos the other night. You did? Okay. Come on in. Yes, two fully grown men that I have never seen before come into my house. I'm not at all afraid. I just don't think this year when they left you. She had a nightmare the other night. I wasn't dreaming came into my bedroom, and it was on fire. You hear that? Oh I think you're on fire. We just gotta chill out, that's all. You know, if this was any other kind of job, what would we do? We'd dig into the history of the house. Exactly, except this time we already know what happened. Yeah, but how much do we know? I mean, how much do you actually remember? About that night, you mean? Yeah. So he's not actually researched not his own I the history. Fire, the heat, and then I carried you out the front door. You'd think they'd know the ins and outs of what happened on that dreaded yeah, night? Well, you never knew that. We have to figure out what happened back then. He really needs a haircut. It's the same thing. I'm right in his eyes. Yeah. Talk to Dad's friends, neighbors, people who were there at the time. This is John Winchester. Dad, I know I've left you messages before. I don't even know if you get them. I'm with Sam, and there's something in our old house. I don't know if it's the thing that killed Mom or not. I don't know what to do. I need your help, Dad. Well, he's a good crier, isn't he? Don't you worry about a thing. Oh, no way. Your wife is crazy about you. She's from Grey's Anatomy. Poor bastard. His woman is cold banging the gardener. <laughs> oh, honey. I'm sorry about your girlfriend. Oh, God. And your father. Well, where is he? Is he okay? I don't know. Don't know? You're supposed to be a psychic, right? Boy, you see me sawing some bony tramp in half, you think I'm a magician? <laughs> I may be able to read thoughts and send She's my favorite. Room, but I can't just pull facts out of thin air. Sit, please. 
you think something's back in that house. Definitely. Oh no, leave the kid alone. Gosh. You're gonna give the kid the juice? And the kid's gonna try and get the juice himself. Why would the kid get all the way in? That's sick. And freeze the kid to death. Oh, baby, either we have rats or mommy is going crazy. Richie? And the last place you'd look is in the fridge, so. Richie! Oh, thank God. I don't know if you boys should be disappointed or relieved, but this ain't the thing that took your mom. It isn't the same energy I felt the last time I was here. It's something different. And it won't rest until Jenny and her babies are dead. You said there was more than one spirit. There is. So whatever is here, how do we stop it? It should purify the house completely. We'll each take a floor. But we work fast. Once the Why did he put that in his mouth? Too, things are gonna get bad. She best not die. I really like her. Whoa. That was a close one. Hello? Uh, home. Welcome home. We may have trashed your house a little bit. <laughs> Hi, sorry. Um, we'll, we'll pay for all of this. Oh, she's wearing the top that was in Sam's dream. Here we go. Oh, they're keeping their eye on the place. the kids, I'll get Jenny. She left the door open. Oh my god. Oh, she's got shivers everywhere. What the hell? All right, Terry, take your brother outside as best as you can and don't look back. That's exactly what he okay, said to right his dad said to Dean. He's inside. Something's got him. Oh my god, what the hell? Sam! Sam! No, don't! Don't! What? Why? Because I know who it is. I can see her now. Is that mom? Plot twist. Why were you slamming your son up against the wall? That's not that's not gonna be her actually, is it, or is it? Dean. Sam. I'm sorry. For what? For what? Don't walk off. You get out of my house. I let go of my son. Oh right, okay. It wasn't her actually doing it, it was someone else. What was she sorry for? Your mom's spirit and the poltergeist's energy, they cancelled each other out. Your mom destroyed herself going after the thing. Why would you do something like that? Well, to protect her boys, of course. Oh, so she's no longer the flaming ghost spirit thingy because she took out the poltergeist. So she was in limbo all this time. You sensed it was here, didn't you? Even when I couldn't. She knows that he's got the gift. So I wonder if that's why he's so good with people. I think she knows more than what she's saying. Why he couldn't sense his own father? 
I have no idea. Jeffrey D. Morgan. Why is he hiding from them? Why don't you go talk to your children? Same. I want to. Not until I know the truth. Oh, about what though? That was such a good episode. That was that was really, really good. Uh, I feel like we're finally getting some plot, which is great, especially after the last episode. It was This was a, a nice change of pace. It was a lot to take in. We we now know that Mary's spirit was hovering for quite a while and she saved the boys from the poltergeist in their, in their house. Their dad was there this whole time, but chose not to say anything, which I find very odd. I bet most of you know why, but he, he just said that he's not ready to, but I don't really get that. I mean, he could have gone into that house and maybe caught a glimpse of Mary, like the boys saw her. Surely he would have liked that, but he's chose to hide out and let the boys deal with that situation. I don't know, I just find it a little odd. I'm sure there's more to the story and I'm about to find out, but as of now, I'm a little confused. Missouri, I think, is amazing, as you can probably tell. <laughs> she was just great. I knew she was hiding something, but I didn't know that it was because their father was there the whole time. I thought it was more to do with something in the past that she was keeping secret so that was a bit of a twist for me i'm interested to see if we'll see that family in that house again they said that they've solved the whole poltergeist issue but surely the the supernatural energy and the magnet like missouri was mentioning with that house may come up again i'd like it to because i like the idea of it being sort of a hub for the boys. It's nice that they got pictures back from their childhood as well, that was really nice. Mary said to Sam that she was sorry, and I didn't know if that was something to do with, I'm sorry that this happened to her and he was raised without a mother, or was it just, I'm sorry that I haven't fought this poltergeist stuff in this house before now? I, I'd like to think it was the deeper option and she was sorry for his lifestyle that he now leads due to the whole death of her and her husband's obsession with it. Maybe the father has been communicating with the mother all of this time and kept it secret from the boys. I felt for Dean a bit in this episode to be honest because he clearly struggled a lot with the house and what's happened and he was older so it sort of hit him harder than what it did with Sam. I feel like most of the attention was on Sam but Dean was going through a tough time there as well and Mary didn't really, I mean she didn't apologise to him. Well I can't wait to watch the next episode now. So what was that? Episode 9. Episode 9 is my favourite so far by far by a landslide that was definitely the best one yet. 